Leo, you need to know this right now for December the 21st through December the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for December the 21st through December the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for December the 21st through December the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for December the 21st through December the 22nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Leo, <laughs> these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have uh, the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So, Leo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords. For Leo, clarify the Seven of Swords. For Leo, clarify the Seven of Swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust them because you feel like they're being deceptive or you're finding out about a deception. Or this is you trying to guard your own deception here. Leo, you have the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Leo, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the Six of Wands. For Leo, clarify the Six of Wands. For Leo, clarify the Six of Wands. For Leo, it is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You can be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Now, Leo, listen, you can tell me that it's been bought. I'm going to just say someone's attention because it could be your attention or their attention. So something is being brought to someone's attention concerning them being shortchanged. And maybe they feel like there's some type of deception or sneakiness going on with the coins. Something could but have... Really, something could have been brought to someone's attention concerning someone giving more, someone else giving to two. 
cheating. Either you're trying to guard it or you're highly suspicious of it. Leo, you have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Leo, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles. For Leo, clarify the three of pentacles. For Leo, clarify the three of pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Leo, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're at a crossroads trying to decide should you, shouldn't you work things out with this person. You know, they very well could be trying to get your attention and give you something here. Or you're wanting to get their attention and give them something here. Wanting to work things out. Leo, you can tell me this is all work or business. And now you're at a crossroads trying to figure out where to go from here. Because it's been brought to your attention about some type of deception dealing with these coins here. Okay. You could also tell me that there was a third party. You're finding out that they have one and you're trying to figure out what, what to do and where to go from here. Or you're trying to figure out, you know, should I pick any, many, many more? What should I do with my parties? Leo, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Leo, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, Leo. Clarify the Five of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Five of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Five of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Leo, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed because you've come into some truth and clarity. Something was brought to your attention about a deception. Leo, you can tell me you're hurt because you're having to make this decision to use this sword to sever because you're finding out about their deception. However, Leo, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played here because this deception is coming out about you. Mm -hmm. You could also tell me that maybe you're needing to come forth with truthful communication because this deception is coming out about you and you're feeling remorse and regret. Or you're telling me that you're hurt and you're feeling regret because you may have to cut someone off here, Leo. One of your partners, one of your parties, Leo. You have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess. For Leo, clarify the high priestess. For Leo, clarify the high priestess. For Leo, it is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Leo. Clarify death for Leo. Clarify death. Leo, 
it is clarified with the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this king is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources this could be a business owner ceo independent contractor manager could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn or someone with earth prominent in their charts However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Leo. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Leo could be dealing with a Libra. But you can tell me that something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice. For Leo, clarify justice. For Leo, clarify justice. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now, Leo, you can tell me that something wasn't fair, balanced, or just. You may even want to end things in a justice system and that you're using your intuition that you need to do so. And you could be overindulging, trying to numb out because you're finding out about their deception and you're hurt here. You're mourning here. Leo. Mm. <clears throat> you, I can't take you off the hook. I really, really can't. Because of this card, yes. Because you could be feeling remorse and regret. So, Leo, is it that it all falls down, baby, oh, it all falls down. <laughs> Leo, I want to know if you're trying to guard some type of deception here. You're trying to protect it, keep it under wraps here. Because is it that someone gave someone something and made an announcement here? That they have commitment on the brain here, wanting to transform things. And you're making a decision about this commitment. But also, did you have a third party? Was Like I said, did you have a deception here? And you're mourning because you're having to cut someone off here. Because you're using your intuition that you need to end things with someone. Because you're getting your wish to go to the justice of the peace with someone else. I just want to know. I'm just asking. Regardless if you're going to the justice of the peace with someone else, I feel like you're having to cut someone off here. Either you're cutting off your partner because they were deceptive, they were giving more someone else, giving to two with a third party, or you yourself were, and you're having to cut one of them off, your parties. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Leo. Now, this is just additional messages here. Meditation, clearing space, removing negativity, this sage over here. <laughs> oh, snap. Snappity, snap, snap, snap. It all falls down. 
I'm telling you, oh, love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. Cleanse this empire. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, you need to know this right now for December the 21st through December the 22nd, 2023. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.